Hey folks, in the last video, I mentioned I was going to give an update of what's going on. Well, I started to do that, and then I got talking about the monster, and kind of got sidetracked and <laughs> completely to, uh, forgot to finish my update. So that's what this video is. Uh, the first thing I did was I needed a length of 2x2 two two for my computer, and when I do my room update, and I'll show you what that's for. But I don't have any right now, so I got the trailer hooked up to the monster, and I'm going to head up there, up to Rona to get one. Uh, but first I'm going to go to Timmy's, and then I'm going to stop at the post office on the way through. So this is Christmas Eve, December 24th. And the problem is, when I left, I wasn't paying attention to what the time was. So I know things close early today. I'm used to like 6 o'clock or something. But everything seems to close earlier now. So I get to Timmy's, and there's people inside and people coming out the, the side door. So I didn't think anything of it. And I walk up to the door, and the door is locked. So I look at the sign, it says to close at 3. I looked at my watch, it was 3.19. Arg. So I missed my Timmy's. Uh, I figured, uh, I know the post office is on holiday hours, but I'm expecting it to be closed, but I figure I'll check anyways in case there's anything in the box other than a card for a parcel or anything. So letters and that will fit, so I get there, and there's nothing in the box, but it turns out the post office was open anyway, so. And before I went out to Rona, it's on the outer edge of town, so rather than going that far, I decided to Google. And I actually did that when I was at Timmy's before I left there. And it said they're closed, so... Kind of a wasted trip going out today, but at least I went out and got some fresh air. A couple days later, I went out again. And I didn't bother going to Rona, because I found a 2x2 two two in the basement. And it was about 6 inches longer than what I actually needed, so that was perfect. I didn't have to go out to grab one. Now, when I went out today, it was late evening, and it was foggy and very drizzly. Not normal drizzle, but like a really, really fine mist. And these situations, I generally don't put the camera in a waterproof case, as it's mainly raindrops that I worry about. If they hit the right spot, they can force their way under stuff. And drizzle, you don't really have that. Although the monster's fast enough, the wind might actually cause that, but <laughs> either way. Yeah, it didn't take long for the entire picture to get messed up. And, well, basically the entire video was worthless. Uh, you can see what I'm doing, that's about it. There's no detail in anything. So, went for a street tour. Yeah, and this was just going to be a pleasure cruise, so it didn't really matter what I did. I kind of drove around a bit, and when I got down by the river, I decided I was going to go on the other side to take my break. So I stopped across from the boat launch. Different perspective I haven't seen for a bit. And then I went out, and as I was coming up to the corner, out of town, I noticed there's a house missing. <laughs> Somebody stole a house. So, it wasn't a fire or anything, so I don't know why they tore the house down, but the house is now gone. I wonder if somebody bought the land and they'd be building some kind of industrial area or something out there, I don't know. So, normally I was planning on turning at the stop sign, but as I was sitting there, I noticed a bunch of deer running across the road up ahead. I thought that was cool, get that on video, but of course, you know, yeah, <laughs> you can't see them any more than I can. So, camera didn't pick them up. So I ended up going for a longer tour, which was fine. It was actually quite a nice temperature night, damp and, and kind of drizzly, but temperature was fine, so it was a nice night for a drive. move on to the 28th, another couple days later, another rather nice temperature day, so I head out for a pleasure tour, and 
I decide to check the school trail. That's what I'm calling it now. <laughs> the one that comes out at the back of the school. And everything's melted enough so I think I can probably get through. I haven't seen it since it snowed so I don't know how much is built up in there. But it's pretty enclosed so I imagine it would be one of the last places to melt. So I decide to go head down to there and as I'm going towards the back of the school so I've got my floodlights on and as I'm coming up to the bush line you can see that light in there and that's for somebody with a reflective vest my lights are reflecting off of it and just to the right of it a bit there's another flashing light I'm not sure what that is so <clears throat> it's actually kind of cool so I kind of slowly go around the corner I turn my floodlights off so I don't blind the guy And I come around, and that flashing light is actually a flashing dog tag. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, I wouldn't see one of those. So I notice here, after I pass, I turn the floodlight back on. The camera's aperture is adjusting to the brightness of my hat. And I'm thinking that might be one of the problems I'm having with the bumper light not being bright enough. You know, I need a darker hat, but unfortunately... I don't have anything really, really dark as far as toques go, or beanies, whatever you want to call it. And this is a different hat than I'm normally wearing. It's a little bit brighter. And I noticed that in the last video when I was talking in the garage. And nobody's asked about it yet, so <laughs> I will explain that next time I'm actually out there and can give you a demonstration of what it actually does. It's kind of a special hat. I got it for Christmas. So anyways, I made it through the trail. The end of the trail was actually pretty bumpy and it's still kind of frozen. You now the footprints and everything made it kind of a rough ride. So I have a destination today. I'm going <clears> to <throat> stop down at the boat launch and I'm going to call my mother. But actually my mother will be pretty busy so it's actually my sister will be calling but she'll be with her. Uh, we have our family Christmas together. And since my dad died, my mother's kind of gone back to her religion, which is Jehovah's Witness. And because of that, she doesn't celebrate Christmas anymore, which is fine. Our gatherings were never really about Christmas anyways. For I'd say probably the last 15 years, it's just been a family gathering, which is fine. And she decided that she didn't want to have it on the 25th. She decided to move it to the 28th, which is... I think better anyways because you know everybody's got their own family now that they have to deal with at Christmas time and not everybody was able to make it so being on the 28th it was actually a better situation so I called and talked to everybody there and I told my sister about the Christmas lights that I put on the monster <laughs> so I sent her a picture of it took a picture sent it to her they thought it was great and of course I had to get one from the front with the bow on it too. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that was finished off the 28th. I went for a quick drive through the trail. I went straight home from there. And a little bit muddy. Uh, it took a bit for the monster to push through it because it's so soft now, but it didn't have any problems. Now I skip ahead to last day of 2019 and like I said we we're gonna get another dumping of snow and we did. So I didn't really have a, a destination today I just wanted to go drive in the snow just because I can. So while I'm out I stopped at the post office and checked to see if anything's there there's nothing there and of course today they're closed they're not on holiday hours anymore. They only do that for Christmas. So I went for a nice long street tour. Enjoyed time out. And even though it's snowed, it's just, the temperature is just really not all that cold. So it wasn't too bad of a trip. And I ran out of coffee. And 
just out of curiosity, hindsight, head to Timmy's and see if they're open. I don't remember what time of day this was, but I know it was after three. Yeah, I come around and I said, well, it looks like it's open. There's a lot of cars in the parking lot. And there's people coming out. <laughs> so, and I pull on up, and the guy pushed the door closed, kind of like he was making sure it locked behind him. So as I'm backing up, I'm looking in, and I said, well, it looks like they're serving people, so. He get up, and turns out, yep, they're definitely open. So I was able to get me a fresh copy, so I was happy. And the guy inside told me that they're not closing this year. Because normally what happens is, if the store closes, a lot of times they'll just leave the, the drive through open. And that's kind of what I was expecting to be happening, but nope. They decided to keep the restaurant open this year. So, I go out and do more of a street tour. And I decide to go to a nice quiet place and enjoy nature while I take a break. So I pull into the far trail entrance and I turn my floodlights on. And if you look down, you can see the front bumper light reflecting off the snow. And watch what happens when I turn the corner. <laughs> bye bye light. <laughs> so apparently, when I get into deep snow, uh, the front bumper starts plowing, I'm used to that. But it piles up and it's blocking the light. So the light's a little too close to the ground to be using it in heavy snow. So I got off, stretched my legs, cleaned the light off, and then heading home, I kind of took the long way home. Going down the street, I'm not plowing snow anymore, and you can actually see the light reflecting, but it, it's it's pretty low. I think I have to aim it again. I, I've hit Zach's car a couple times with it. Sometimes it just doesn't leave me a whole lot of room, so I gotta kind of go back and forth and maneuver. And the monster doesn't stop the moment you let off on the accelerator, so it's kind of rolled into it a couple times. And one time I actually turned the light, which didn't impress me because it's really hard to adjust that. <laughs> so I might just have to aim it upwards a little bit. But a little more experimenting. So that finishes off 2019. Uh, in the next video I'll be showing the new controller installing on the Monster from last year. And I'll be showing how to do it properly this time. <laughs> so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.